So our next comedian comes to us all the way from the Emerald Isle. Uh, she's also a stay-at-home mom, and she's here today because she heard she would be allowed to curse. <laughs> if anyone can curse, it's the Irish. Uh, please welcome Fiona O'Brien. Hello, how are you? Uh, my name is Fiona, and uh, I'm from Ireland, as Jim said. And I moved to Canada about, um, about 30 pounds ago. <laughs> I uh, became addicted to Tim Hortons. <laughs> Nobody warned me their French vanilla coffee has 700 calories in every bloody cup. <laughs> it's like heroin to me. I was doing 42 ounces a day. <laughs> I uh, have a twin, and uh, people used to say to my mom, you know, how do you tell the twins apart? And she'd say, well, he is a penis and she is a vagina. <laughs> uh, I have three children, so uh, they are pretty big babies. So they were all born by uh, cesarean section. So, you know, I may have the body of a station wagon, <laughs> but underneath this hood is the engine of a Ferrari. <laughs> I'm no slack Alice. <laughs> a lot and we don't need to be rude, we don't need to be offensive, it's just in our nature to curse. Uh, you know, it's how we punctuate our sentences, it's how we show emotion, it's just a part of everyday life. So like when my husband came and he said, you know, we're moving to Canada, I said, that's fucking great news, I don't fucking believe it, it's fucking brilliant, I can't wait. And he said, hang on now, when you go to Canada you won't be allowed to curse like that. And then someone told me, you know, if you did stand-up and you did some comedy, they like you to curse, you're allowed to curse. So here I fucking am! <laughs> when people hear my accent, one of three things is guaranteed to happen. Number one, they like to tell you that they are somehow Irish. <laughs> Everywhere I go. They hear me and, oh my god! Um, I simply say, I fight for it, so don't give a shit. <laughs> Number two, they like to tell you an Irish racist joke. <laughs> hey, how'd you get an Irish man on the roof? Tell them the drinks are on the house. <laughs> Number three, and this is my favourite, they like to do an impression of an Irish person. And they something like this. Oh, hello, how are you? Have you had your lucky job? Just for the record, no one in Ireland eats Lucky Charms. We don't even fucking sell them. I face racism on a daily basis. I go to my doctor's office and the receptionist sees me coming in and she lights up and she puts on an Irish accent. <laughs> Nobody else gets this treatment. One minute later, an Indian woman came in after me. And I waited, and I was expecting, Oh, Mrs. Kumar, please be coming in and taking a seat. How are things at the Hasty Market today? <laughs> My kids are feeling left out. <laughs> they wrote to Santa this year and they asked for EpiPens. <laughs> when I went to enroll them at the local school, I walked in the door and I was immediately overpowered by the smell of ass. <laughs> <laughs> then I was accosted by one of the secretaries. Oh my god, ma'am, are you wearing fragrance? I said, yes, I'm not from Alberta. <laughs> all over the school. Skulls and crossbones, yellow hazard of triangles, and big black letters. Do not enter. 
If you are wearing deodorant, shampoo, conditioner, shower gels, body creams, powders, fragrance of any kind. And I just shook my head and I said, that poor bitch must never get laid. <laughs> Definitely never gets any wolf diving. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yonah O'Brien.